break breaking news. I, I I just woke up. Okay, didn't have a chance to get even my glasses for this. There is the Quad Strike animation opening. They show visuals. There is some returning characters. They do use Hasbro Bays, which is still pretty cringe. We're gonna do a breakdown of it. Like and subscribe and comment your thoughts. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. On the bright side, I'm pretty sure we reviewed most of the bays. All right, let, let, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna get started on here. I'm giving myself some space, dude. I feel like courage every time I wanna talk about this now. I'm gonna go, oh, 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 oh. That's what I'm gonna feel like every single time we talk about this. Okay, um, there, there, there's some neat stuff. So the opening shot does uh, show off Pax. So I believe Pax in his journey is helping assist Quadris. I've pointed out that the first letter of his name is P. So maybe he has originally Pandora, then after gives it to Quadra, which I believe that would match uh, the bios. Uh, she is supposed to have at least the four other Pandoras. So, you know, I'm very curious to see that journey and getting all the elements of lightning, wind, water, fire. You see this shot? And I was like, oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, they all use Hasbro base, so drum. So we do get a lot of returning characters, even though the characters are returning and I'm still blinded by that a little bit. I do wish the writing will be good. If it has a chance to be good, then I honestly do not care. Uh, I think it's an interesting opportunity to give them a chance. This is essentially like if BU got an anime, but it's with the Hasbro stuff, so. I don't know, if they can do a good job, they can do a good job. You see Ken, you see Xander. So a lot of these, so it's, it's good for them for marketing, right? Because now you can't say, oh, it's not anime accurate. Because they, they made sure the bays are garbage and canonical in the animation. Now you can still make fun of the bays and say that they aren't good and Hasbro should have done better, obviously. But moving on. See, Kara and Hyuga, I still despise how most of the bays look. But, uh, yeah. It would have been so neat to see a lot of the gimmicks on there. That that shot killed me uh, of the Achilles. I hate Zeal Achilles so much. I don't care if it's in the animation. <laughs> it, it, it's crud, bro. It's crud. Uh, moving on. Whirl. And this pisses me off because they put the blade of Whirl upside down. <laughs> it's supposed to be the other way around and it actually would look aligned right. I don't like it when it's two on the... Uh, whatever. So, m m moving on from there, uh, we see the shot of Divine, so I guess Divine's canonical stock combination is going to be with that shot, disc, whatever. So basically what we saw, I, it, I'm kind of just mixed on it just because I actually kind of wish they would have just done the BU anime at this point if Hasbro just did. I am pretty sure this is a reused sequence actually when Quadra is, you know, getting ready and kind of doing that posing and getting all that stuff because I remember seeing it from, I believe, the preview. And I saw it in the opening. It is a clean uh, sequence of where she basically gets her gear on. And I'm hoping, again, that they do good writing here. Again, we have to make sure we're not blinded by fan service and just think, oh, because so-and-so returns, that's all we need. It does seem like uh, her and Belle are going to clash. I don't know. They, they can take this in a good direction. They have to do a good job here. That's There's a lot of pressure on them for this season, for the storytelling, how they're gonna do it, will they do it right, and I will not be against it just because, oh, it's Hasbro, whatever. If it, if it ends up being good, it ends up being good. We see another shot of Divine versus Lightning. We then have to see a shot of most of the character designs, which the only thing I'm a little bit upset on is a lot of them are reused, which I'm, I'm not too crazy on. Uh, they're kind of reused from previous seasons. I think Waki is just sparking. Most of them are just reused from their, yeah. The last one is Drum from sparking, Aiga from sparking. Uh, Kerr and Yuger just basically reused. Xander's new, Ken's new, Volt is just reused, Kit is reused from Shozetsu. Uh, very interesting though. You do see some nice shots of Drum when he's launching Gambit that they removed the rainbow on, which uh, I, I still don't like that they removed the rainbow on it. Uh, now actually, we see some other shots here. We see Ken. I actually think that's a pretty good fit. I actually like his design. That's a very good redesign uh, for Ken. I like that quite a bit. And you know, he's using chain on there. I don't know what they're gonna do for the battles because most of them, like, they basically have to. I don't know, maybe they'll make up some abilities or whatever. Maybe it'll be more like fictional in that sense. Uh, I also realized that at this rate, the final boss is gonna be a pro series Beyblade. Could you imagine if it was the final boss is like pro series? Oh, that'd be funny. Or Avatar. Oh, that looks good. That looks good in the animation. I like that. 
uh, I'm hopefully there's not going to be too bad of. So there's a difference between art and animation, and I think in the most recent seasons they've been inconsistent on both. Hopefully this time around they have time to cook and maybe we'll see some decency on here. I don't know how much of the staff is actually on this season, what animators are on here. I just remember that a lot of them left to work on Call Me Can't Communicate, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. I, I like seeing Aiga, but I don't like seeing that zeal. It's like, it's like a monkey's paw, and then after you see Kit with Whirl, which honestly, it's an interesting opportunity. That's what I think it is. And you obviously saw Xander with that sword launcher. It's an interesting opportunity. And the final shot showing them all. Yeah, I I'm kind of mixed on here. We didn't see Shu yet or Lane. I don't know if they're gonna do it, but what I can say if you're new here is ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put a link on the pinned comment most likely of every single review of Quad Strike I've done, because guess what? That means now that they're actually in the anime. So yeah. I'm indifferent to this, uh, and if it's good, it's good. Yeah, alright, yes, uh, check out the store, option way to support the channel, I appreciate any support regardless. Hey, please, please subscribe, please subscribe, come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. We've been reviewing most of QS, huh? We made the effort more than anyone to go through all of QS. Um, um well, that means really, we're really ahead on the reviews. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, yeah, check out our store, optional way to support the channel, I appreciate any support regardless. Yo, stay safe, have a fantastic day, and, uh, bye!